Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is actually my birthday. Oh boy, add another year to my tally. <laughs> Man, I'm getting old. I'm just messing. The old is just a mindset. At least that's what I tell myself. Either way, I've got some stuff that I need to take care of as far as my business goes before I get to go out and celebrate. So let's go ahead and pull today's orders. We got like 30 to 40 items going out on a bunch of different platforms. eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Amazon. We had stuff sell all over the place. Let me show you what sold. The first item going out here are these Alltech speakers. These sold for $30. A Chaps Ralph Lauren Aztec or Southwestern style vest also sold for $30. Then I've got two pairs of these Nike running shorts going out. I'm actually finally almost out of the running shorts. You might remember I bought them at the world's longest yard sale for $3 a piece. I bought like 30 pairs and each pair has been selling between 25 and 30 bucks a piece. So that was an awesome pickup. Then down here we got this vintage Air Glide Compass which ended up selling for 15 bucks. Some Polo Ralph Lauren men's jeans sold for $30 menu items. Next is a Woolwich shirt. It's one of those chamoy or chamo or chammy, however you say that. If you know what these are called, let me know. It's the C-H-A-M-O-I-S is how it's spelled. I, I, I've always wondered how to say that. <laughs> let me know down in the comments. Anyways, it sold for $27. And then some of the items in that camera lot that I just picked up at the auction just ended up selling as well. And these sold like super quickly. The first of which is this pack of Fujifilm sold for 25 bucks. And then the other pack of it, these ones right here were open. It was missing one roll. So there's four packs in here, or four film rolls in here, and it sold for 20 bucks. And then also this one surprised me a lot. This little Canon SureShot 80 ended up selling in under 24 hours. Or get this, this thing sold for $60. I mean, these little things, you'd think they were outdated by now, but some people still like to shoot film. They're shooting for like school projects and stuff. They need these cameras. They're not selling them anymore. So this stuff is selling at a premium. Don't sleep on these. And just as a side note real quick, I had a few of you guys ask me about these Panasonic handheld camcorders. Yes, some handheld camcorders have some value. However, these ones did not come with the charging bases or the chargers for the batteries or even batteries in general. So I can't test these, which means they're pretty much gonna be worthless for me unless I sold them for parts in like a lot or something. Anyways, moving on. Got a vintage Ozark Music Festival pin, which sold for $17.50. Five unknown Pokemon cards sold for 10 bucks. Camel Joe's apron sold for $17. Ooh, now we got some of the best sales of the weekend. And they're right there above the Jordans. I don't know if I showed you this pickup or not. This right here is a lot of various clip-on earrings I ended up buying at a yard sale. Most of them were marked Monet, so I ended up separating them up into lots of 20 pairs each and I ended up selling each of these four lots for some pretty insane money. But before I tell you how much these ended up selling for I want to roll the clip of me picking these up because I don't think I actually put them in a video and before I roll the clip I want to say thank you to Charles who is a longtime subscriber here on my YouTube channel and he's actually the one who told me to be on the lookout for clip-on earrings and then about I don't know, a week later, I ended up stumbling across this huge lot of earrings. So Charles, thank you. I really appreciate it. Here's that clip. All right, ended up doing pretty good at that sale. That place is usually like a big thing for Halloween. They have like a Halloween haunt thing going on there. So I was pretty excited to see what they had at their sale. But the first thing I got was this whole tin of little um, Marvel handful of heroes. Didn't really know what they were, but they're Marvel branded and they're just like a bunch of these little miniature guys so i figured i'd pick it up for five bucks there's also like a american gladiator dude in there but there's probably i don't know 40 or so of those little marvel hero guys in there so i picked that up for five uh this was a good one texas instruments ti-84 plus c silver edition that's probably like a 60 dollars calculator right there paid three for that then this little fixed thing this is like a car diagnostic thing i've sold these in the past i believe they go for like 25 to 30 a little jurassic park Park 3, if you can see that marking down on there. Jurassic Park 3 dinosaur, little T-Rex guy, he was a buck. There was a Nike windbreaker jacket, paid another $2 on that. And then this whole bin of jewelry right here, these are all like clip-on earrings, the majority of them all are, oh, he found the wrong bin. 
The majority of them are all clip-on earrings. There's There's got to be like, I don't know, 40, 50 pairs of earrings in there. But this whole box was 12 bucks, and the ones that I saw were almost all marked Monet. So I don't really know clip-on earrings. I figured even at a bucket piece, that's like 40 bucks or so. So 12 bucks for this whole box. Can't really go wrong. I'll let you know how that does. I'll probably throw them all up on auction or something. Not really sure yet, but that overall was a pretty good stop. So as you guys just saw in that video, I bought this entire box of clip-on earrings for $12, and it sold for a lot more than that. This first lot right here ended up selling for $110. The second lot right here sold for $100, and these two right here sold to the same buyer for $70. Safe to say that uh, that was a pretty good pickup for my first time picking up clip-on earrings. And I just wanted to point out that the two lots that I had that had these like larger, gaudier earrings in them ended up selling for more money than these lots down here that just had kind of the basic ones to it so you can see these ones are kind of larger and these ones are like colorful and larger these ones tend to be the ones that I noticed that sell for a higher price those are definitely on my radar now anyways next we got some rough wear items going out the first of which is this dog leash which sold for 35 bucks this rough wear jet stream vest sold for 30 and this Quincy jacket sold for 48 then I've got a bunch of pairs of these rough wear boots going out, some in the red and some in the blue. I actually found these in my basement the other day. I was down there doing laundry and I noticed a box that said rough wear on it and I was like, why do I have a box of rough wear down here? Well, this is from that first buyout I did like a year ago and I guess I just never listed these, but I had a bunch of pairs of dog boots in, in it and it's the perfect time for those. So I pulled them all out, listed them and there's like a bunch of sales over the weekend. Uh, most of them sold between 30 and 35 bucks. Oh, hey kitty, did you come out to help? Make sure all the orders are safe? What a good helper. Oh, you like the jewelry, huh? And then all the rest of the orders going out today are all top secret. I can't let you know what is going out in these envelopes yet, but it will be a video soon. I just have to wait because I might be getting more of these things. Let's just say I may or may not have made the greatest thrift store purchase of all time. No clickbait. I'm, I'm being serious. It may, it may be my best thrift store purchase of all time, and I've made some pretty good ones here on my channel. But now that I have all of this stuff pulled, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up and ship it out. And once I drop this stuff off at the post office, I actually wanna go and like run to Target real fast because I need to replace some of these bins. You can see like some of these are just like in bad shape and like cracking on the top and they don't really fit on the shelves right. And that's because some of these bins, my older ones, are these 71 quart bins, which don't really fit very well. Or yeah, these are both 71s. But these ones, these 64 quart store light ones, I really like. These are sturdy and they fit really well on the shelf. And I'd like to get more of those. However, I went to like uh, Kroger, which is where I normally got them at and they were like 16 bucks a piece now for some reason, like crazy. So basically I need new bins, I wanna redo the inventory system, and I need new storage for the mass amount of stuff I picked up at the thrift store the other day. All right, Target, don't let me down. All right, these are like two quarts bigger, which means they're wider, and I just don't know if that'll fit on my shelves or not, so I might grab these four, and if they don't work, I'll just put the thrifted stuff in here and call it a day. Hopefully they do fit on my shelves, though, because if they do, I'll come back up and grab the rest. Ooh, or I could grab a pink polka dot one. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Ooh, maybe not. These guys right here are also 66, so it's still a little bigger, but they're also not as wide, so I might grab these ones. I think these are the ones I'm gonna go with. There we go, got five of them at eight bucks a piece. Not bad on those, I mean, they were on sale, so I'm gonna test these out ASAP and probably come up and get some more if they end up fitting. And actually, we got a little bit of time before I had to meet my buddy at the climbing gym, which means I might have enough time to sneak into a thrift store and do a little uh, birthday thrift, birthday thrift. <laughs> All right, Salvos, let's see if you got any birthday presents for me. Just came across our first little piece here. We got an Adidas outdoor rain jacket windbreaker. It's got the hideaway hood. It's gonna be six bucks, and with a hood like that, it's a pretty basic one, but it'll still go for between 30 and 35 bucks. 
Check this one out. I usually come across these a couple times a year. This is a Canterbury of New Zealand rugby polo shirt. Just got that old school, nice rugby look to it. Got the Canterbury of New Zealand crest on the chest and on the back, the 15. I've sold these guys a few times in the past and they usually go between like 30 and 40 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and snag this guy at six. All right, not a ton of scores there. Just got those two items. I wasn't in there very long, only a few minutes, but I'm still happy with that because we got to go thrifting for a little bit. I don't think I have enough time to go to another thrift store before I'm supposed to go down and climbing, so I think we'll just go ahead and head straight down there. Just pulled up at the gym. I'm gonna get a good climbing session in, then we'll go home and finish out the inventory. Excuse me, sir, you can't be filming in here. Shh. <laughs> Ashley and Dustin here just brought me some birthday bow. Thanks, guys. Alright, it's actually the next day now. I ended up going straight out after climbing and having some drinks with the friends. It was it was a good time. We had a good time last night. Made a good reason to test out that breathalyzer I bought last weekend. Good news, it works. Does that mean I can write off my drinks last night as a business expense? But it's now back to work and I've got to see if we can't replace these bins that we were talking about yesterday. You see, they're just hard to pull in and out. This, these clear ones just like barely fit on the shelves. They're falling apart. I've had these since I started reselling. So it's been a while. They need to be replaced. So let's see if these new ones fit. Oh yeah, like a glove. Look at that. That is so much easier. Look, and it looks a lot nicer too. That is what we're going with. I'm probably gonna go up and grab more of those. Yeah, just look how nice that is. It just slides in and out. That's so much easier than having to like cram these bigger, wider ones onto the shelves and fit. They only fit next to these other white ones. So this is going to be the solution we're going for. I'm gonna go get more of those. Obviously, I'm gonna to have to transfer all of these clothes back into this now and then I'm gonna to have to mark the side of the bin obviously so I know which bin it's in because organization is key. Seriously, that is one of the biggest tips I can give any reseller, new or old, be organized. You need to know where your stuff is so you can quickly grab it when it sells. You don't wanna be searching through thousands of items just to find one item. Trust me, I've been there, I've lost items before, and it is not fun looking through everything for them. If you do not have a good inventory system, not saying you have to do one like mine where it's all numbered and lettered, just find something for you that works because if you don't, it's gonna take up a lot of time in your business. It's one of the biggest mistakes I see resellers make. If you are curious about how I do my inventory system though, it's all I do is mark my bins with letters. So I have bins A through Z, and then it starts back over at A2, then B2, C2, et cetera, all the way down. So every one of my bins is marked with a letter, and then I take that letter, and then I just copy it into the custom labels field over on my eBay store. So when something sells, I just look at the custom label, it'll say it's in bin A, I go to bin A, and I pull it out. It's simple, it's easy, it's efficient, it works. And then I also wanna point out, it's the same for my shelves. This might look like it is disorganized, but I know exactly where everything is. On all of the shelving units, each one is labeled one through six, and then each individual shelf on the units going downward is a different number. So this is shelf one, two, three, four. So it'd be like unit one, shelf two, and I'd be able to come here and find my item. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I've got some work ahead of me. I gotta transfer all this inventory, go get some more bins, and make this place look fantastic. So that's going to be the rest of my day today. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two. Hopefully you enjoyed those solds. If you did like this kind of video, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.